All right, let's start this off, y'all. Well, welcome. Welcome. Welcome to the Broco Talk. Welcome to the Broco Stop it. Welcome to the Broco Talk. Welcome. Will, did you just say welcome? I don't want to do that. We'll come to the Broco Taku podcast. Will you? Welcome to the Broco Taku podcast. Ew. My Sorry. name is AJ, and with me is Marcus, aka Blowing Your Bob. <laughs> <laughs> what? Blowing Your Bob? <laughs> oh, I'm glad I went with that. Say Blowing Your AJ. Bob. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do it again. Do hey it everybody! Again. Now Bolo- that you know what it is. Baloney. Okay, it's bologna, <laughs> but it's baloney, which is oh. the stupidest word ever. Oh, baloney, Bob. Okay, I thought you said blowing your Bob. <laughs> I start. I started saying bologna because I always say that word purposely wrong. So anytime I see it, I just say it wrong on purpose. But then I was like, <laughs> but that's not the word. So I My changed. My instincts were correct. Yeah, I changed mid sentence. <laughs> Mid word, really. Everything is going exactly as planned. And Alan, aka Jackalope Jenkins. <laughs> <laughs> is a jackalope a rabbit esque creature? Uh, I don't know. I think it's an antelope and mixed with a jackal. That's <laughs> that can't a, happen. What's a jackal? What's a jackal? <laughs> you don't know what like a, a jackal a, is? An ass or a hyena or a something? A jackal's like a dog, it's a wild dog. A uh, jackalope is a deer. It's basically a, a a rabbit with horns, antlers. Weird. Oh damn! I didn't even know that. I just looks, heard that word. Before. I don't think I know that either. I just I just like to say jackalope because it's fun. Oh, it's a mythical creature. There you go. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> oh yeah, it's definitely not real. You didn't know that. I'm pretty sure I knew that. I'm 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 doubting myself right now. I'm don't not even sure act like you knew that. No, I, I honestly am not sure. <laughs> okay, then. We're in agreement. <laughs> so what the hell's happening? Uh, we're going to play a little game. And it's what game called is that? Great. Super Fight? We mm. played this before. Yes, we did in so many ways. And this will be one way that is the only way. So I'm going to give you guys a character... Uh, who has an attribute of some kind. And then I'm going to give you a scenario. My dexterity score is 12. That's a plus one. And I have a list of things, <laughs> but if I feel so inclined, maybe I'll just make one up. And okay. uh, then you guys then fight, it you fight, you it out, say, fight it out. You fight it out. I mean, well, Marcus, I'll say, Marcus. You're this thing. What do you do to defeat that thing, which is Baloney Allen? I mean, Jackalope <laughs> Allen. <laughs> I like how we both did Baloney Bob and Jackalope Jake. <laughs> Alliteration. <laughs> Why did we both do that? Because we both write rap. <laughs> I guess so. That's probably why. We're both children's authors. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's that too. The language works. I don't think it's got anything to do with rap but anyway hey fuck you <laughs> so i give you guys characters and then i say hey marcus how do you defeat alan's character and you say well i pull out my giant cock sword <laughs> and i shove it in his butt whoa why are you going so hard so early <laughs> that's... <laughs> that's the only way i go <laughs> And then Alan... That is, that is a surefire way to defeat me. I will Alan, I have nothing for that. <laughs> Alan will retort. And we we could make this like a like a democratic debate and like you get three minutes and then Alan gets three minutes and then you get one minute to re- <laughs> respond. And then you Alan gets ask us the same question? I don't want three minutes. Rebuttal. Okay. Well, then just talk till you're tired. 
All right. I'll talk till my point is made. Uh, Marcus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You are Luffy. Do you know who Luffy is? Luffy. God. You call yourself Bronco <laughs> Taku. <laughs> I did it on purpose. I didn't do that on purpose. <laughs> yes, I know who Luffy is from just that, like one that, of the most popular long running shonen anime. One, that's One Piece, right? What? One Piece? Yeah. I, even I knew that. There's a there's a prominent uh a, a prominent Street Fighter uh competitive player who has goes by Backdash Luffy or something. Oh yeah. That's, but that's, that's the only right. reason I know that's a thing. So I'm sure right. I've been corrected on that before, and I'm sure I'll be corrected on it again, but I've never watched or read One Piece, and I plan to keep it that way. <laughs> Fuck One Piece. <laughs> All right. AJ's just super keep belligerent. Keep an open mind. Dude, keep we're going to lose mind. so many listeners this episode. It's going to be great. <laughs> so you're Luffy. You the virus, right? Yes, I'm Luffy. And you... That one's dumb. Are a good one. Really poorly dubbed. Okay. And Alan, you are Ken from Street Fighter. Yes. With ADD. Uh, okay. <laughs> and you are both fighting in the ocean. Okay. But no, what about all my fire fire punches and my fire kicks? Sucks oh, to man. be you. Alright, Marcus, you started off with Luffy <laughs> in the ocean. Yes. And what was the other thing I told you? Poorly dubbed. Poorly dubbed. Okay. Meaning this is speak bad English. Oh no. Not necessarily. <laughs> Poorly dubbed can mean a lot of things. I mean, just watch One Piece in English and you'll know what I mean. <laughs> um, Zing. Yeah. Anyways, this is super easy. I don't even really have to explain it that much because you're saying we're in the ocean. Um, just for all of you folks out there who may have not heard of One Piece, can't imagine who you'd be. That shows about pirates looking for the One Piece, the grand treasure. They always be in the water. They always be on the ocean. They ain't no land lovers. So, I mean, <laughs> come on. I'm pretty sure it's land got lover. Me there. Whatever. I don't care. Did you say land lovers? Lovers, lovers, whatever. It's definitely lovers with two Bs. Who cares? You're you down, said you Luffy, lose. so you I'm allowed to say. Bob. I'm allowed Luff, to say. Luffy the lovers. land lover. <laughs> yeah anyway so yeah i win because of that and oh also the bad dubbing he's just gonna keep shouting like he actually does in the english dubs and it's gonna drive you nuts and you're gonna go insane while i'm on my boat that has cannons and things and my whole crew because that's what luffy does what does luffy do you mean what's his power I mean, I know what his power is, but go ahead and explain how you might use it. He's the captain of their ship. Yeah. So anyway, um, he was he would see <laughs> when you ask what he does, and that's what he does. He's the captain because he's this little annoying boy who just so happens to be the strongest person on the ship. People have challenged him and gotten their asses beat by him because he's standard shonen hero. Um who's like 11 but can beat up 40 year olds who've been fighting their whole lives so yeah so anyway he can stretch because he ate like some gummy bear juice or whatever the hell it's called <laughs> i don't know i don't watch one piece or read one piece either but he can stretch real hard and he'll punch you like from a mile away because he can stretch because he drank the juice or ate the berry or whatever the hell it was the fruit done yet <laughs> I, I tried to be done. AJ kept making me go. <laughs> kept making me talk. AJ, make him be done. All right, you're done. <laughs> Alan, you're Ken from Street Fighter with ADD. All right, I don't even know where to begin. Uh, exactly. First of all, 
Your first name is Monkey D, okay? <laughs> your first name is Monkey. You you sound like a whack rapper from like Alaska or some shit. Uh, what, would a, what would a rapper from Alaska be Monkey? I don't know. I don't know because he's trying to like, seem like he's not from Alaska, but everybody totally knows he's from Alaska because <laughs> of his like dialect or something. Uh, and you said something about shouting. It was being really annoying. I don't care about that because I got ADHD. I can't. I can't even hear you, bro. You have ADD, not ADHD. Oh, man, that's the same thing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so I got ADD, right? We all know Ken Masters. One of Ken Masters' signature moves is the hurricane kick. So you got a boat on the water in a hurricane bruh and then because i got the adds uh i go first i do a hurricane kick right i get the water spinning i get the water away from me and you got your boat all going toilet bowl around me and then then i switch real quick to the dragon punch lift you up out of the water and then i get the flames going because we're not in the water anymore and i just tear your boat to shreds shreds Shred that boat with the fire and the hurricanes and the flames. I win. And my name is not Monkey D. <laughs> so I win. That's, Luffy, that's what would you is. like to respond to that? <laughs> Reboot? Rebut? Well, I don't know how you're even going to get close enough to my boat to even do any of that. Because not only am I Stretch Armstrong with my super stretch matic arms that can punch your face. I also got cannons and I'm also an awesome navigator as well. You ain't never been on no water. You was up in Japan in the effing forest kicking trees with Goken or whatever his dumb name is. Acting like some Japanese dude's your brother because you're a stupid weeboo. <laughs> and, uh, this is fair. And, uh, yeah, you don't even, yeah. And you can't do you you so dumb you can't even do your hurricane kick if ain't no fire in it. You ain't like <laughs> Ryu. Ryu's better than you. Um, clearly you've not played Street Fighter Five, sir. But <laughs> that's uh, that's your your failing. Alan, rebut your rebut Ken, now. Final retort. Okay. <clears throat> Damn it! Your stupidity derailed my train of thought. <laughs> He got all uh, offended. Cannons, uh, yeah. So in Street Fighter V, Ken has, uh, well, every character has what's called a V skill, and Ken's is a forward run. So I would use that to run on the water because it's dumb fast. So I'm walking on water now. I'm Ken. You didn't know Ken's middle name was Jesus, but he's American, so his middle his name is Ken Jesus Masters. <laughs> and that's just how it goes. And also in Street Fighter V, you have what's called a V trigger, where you there's a lot of stuff that can happen, but Ken's was buffed for season four so that when he does his upward flaming endless dragon punch, it sucks you in from way far away. And I've used it on lots of fools, lots of times. And so that's what I'd use. I'd run in, I'd run on the water to get past your googly arms or whatever you got going on. And then uh, just pull your boat in before the cannons can even go off. And I would melt them cannonballs where they flew in midair. So that's it. It's done. Nice try. Thanks for playing. But Ken, Jesus, Masters, KJM, for president. All right. I, <laughs> I I don't think any one of you actually attacked the character directly. Come on. I, what? No, we you, talked about what we would do attack-wise. What are you saying? What are you talking about? I said about? hurricane kick. I said dragon punch. Yeah, and I said yeah. I had cannons that were going to shoot them and punch the them moon. with my super stretch arms. Yeah, okay. You did say that, Marcus. But, Alan, you hit the boat, but I don't think you ever actually hit <laughs> Him. <laughs> Come on, if he's <laughs> a captain is nothing without his boat, okay? So I fuck his boat <laughs> and then I fuck him. And, and, and so he's fucked and so is his boat. Two things. One, I don't think 
Ken's hurricane kick would generate an actual hurricane. <laughs> even with the powers that are representative of Street Fighter V. But it's the EX. It's the EX. He's burning meter. Also, I don't think <laughs> Luffy's a good enough navigator to fire a cannon at a single human being and, and hit him. <laughs> Ho- <laughs> do, you, do you hear what you just said? He's not a good enough navigator to fire a cannon. That's not what that at is. Single, no, to a fire a cannon being, and to... hit a human being. <laughs> a small target is what he's saying. Yes. Do you know how how hard it is to accurately fire a cannon? No. From a moving <laughs> ship on a boat in the Actually, water that's, I don't, that's sir. like waves and, and all kinds of stuff. I don't know. Guess who else doesn't know? You? You ain't no admiral. No, I played Assassin's Creed. I know how to <laughs> fire from a cannon <laughs> from a boat. It's really hard. Well, maybe you just sucked at that game. And I've played Street Fighter, and I know how powerful hurricane kicks are. So you should listen to me. Well, I should win. I watched I, mean, I watched one One Piece movie, and I saw how hard Luffy could punch and how far he could punch. So you didn't sit. Yeah, oh, never mind. Take that. Anyway, who won? You're not getting to the point. So to be fair, because Luffy is a shonen character, uh, but he's also a fighting game character technically. He Ooh, was shonen character first. I'm gonna give it to Ken is a, Kenji's Ken is Masters. A character. That's yeah. bullshit. K J M. I'm a an American character made by Japanese people. That's bullshit. Whatever. Conceived in the early 200s or something. I mean, this referee is Jesus, fired. So. What do you say? He said this referee the... is fired. Well, I was talking that's to AJ. True. I'm not talking to you, loser. Hey, shut up. Lost. I'm not and a loser. AJ's just dumb. Man, fuck you. <laughs> now we're now we're in fifth grade. <laughs> You're just dumb. Fuck you. You're just mad you didn't win the grand prize, Marcus, which is da 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 a paper towel wrapped around a glass. <laughs> I mean I could use that. I'm not gonna lie. I'll I'll put that to good use. Anyway, what the hell is going on with what did y'all eat for breakfast today? I thought we were breaking for commercial. <laughs> yeah, we have a sponsor we have to read for, right? Oh yeah, I recently uh, negotiated a deal with these guys uh, called uh, uh, it's Uncle Bill. He's a uh, the brother of Baloney Bob, but he has a product. Uh, <clears throat> it's similar to Uncle Ben's rice bowls, but they're not. He's not related to Uncle Ben. He is a uh, uh, independent proprietor of uh, cost-effective food products. So uh, we're gonna hear from him now. Let me just uh, let me just load this up. First, there was salad, and it came in a bowl, but nobody liked it. Then came the rice bowl, and it was pretty good, but real Americans still don't trust it. Is it Mexican or Chinese? We'll never know. Then came the grain bowl. Now we're talking oats, corn, potatoes, but two ninety nine is still pretty steep, am I right? Introducing Uncle Bill's Trash Bowls, the only bowl that'll fill your belly for under a buck. Packaging peanuts piled high on a bed of cheese-dusted cardboard flakes, smothered in a gray water sludge that we can't legally call gravy, so we're calling it Cravy. Fuck you, FDA. Uncle Bill's Trash Bowls. Because if it tastes good, who cares what's in it? <laughs> Dude, where did you get this sponsor from? <laughs> it it was, uh, I found him on, uh, Craigslist. <laughs> yeah, dude, you don't ever, <laughs> you don't sign up for Craigslist for anything. Maybe if you want to sell, like, a loose sandal or something, but that's it about it. It said sponsorship opportunity. He said, I will sponsor you. So, I was like, we need sponsors. We're just, he's like, I... I'm just starting out. He's just starting out. It was seemed like a good fit. Did he guys, give you the I mean, money not, up front? No. No, he said once. He's going to pay us in, in trash bowls. 
Oh. You know, I mean, they're not bad. You guys should try them. They're, uh, I had one earlier today. I had like, I had a couple bites and then I started to feel a little sick, but I think it, I think it might just be Corona. I got to know how the poop situation is after eating two or three of those trash bowls. Yes, yeah, seriously. Uh, I'll let you know. Once I can get, I mean, I got to work, you got to work up to it. I, I got through like three bites today. It's an acquired taste. And also your uh, digestive system has to adjust to things that aren't usually edible. I'd be more concerned with the texture. Like packing peanuts are pretty good. Don't get me wrong. But a bowl full of packing peanuts? I don't know. I'm no, like it's, one or it's two or three. the sludge, man. The sludge makes it go down real smooth. Okay. Does I don't the know. Sludge, that was my problem. The cravey. <clears throat> Does the sludge make it into like a fine paste once it makes contact with the, the, the packing peanuts? towards the end it's like it's like the end of the bowl of cereal where like everything's kind of just mushy and you don't really have to chew it anymore depending just, how long how you fast you eat your cereal yeah you can gum it by the end for sure mm. but i haven't gotten that far yet I'm, i mean i'm just assuming i haven't got that far yet okay well i mean i guess we need the money and the help so Uncle yeah yeah no this is this is gonna be it's just it's the first step man it's the first step we'll get there what what's going on in the world besides COVID? No, no 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 we are keeping it super official super super official super duper official okay what color are your socks right now i and what what blend are they i have a lot of trouble with my feet so I'm real. I'm picky about socks. Let's just put it that way. Hey, guess what? Okay, I don't want to talk about socks. Ratio. All right. That's that's, on that. that's stupid. So I'm not going to talk about the world, but because <clears throat> of the world, what have you guys been doing lately? I'm doing the same thing, just less of it. I'm just spending more time with my kids, oh, and that's... then doing all the stuff I would do at work would, that aren't job related. <laughs> Basically uh, now doing everything take... but real work. But, I mean, I do the work when there's work to do, you know? I'm not I'm not leaving anybody hanging. I'm not neglecting anything. If there's work to do, I'd do it. There's no work to do, so I'm living my best life. Well, that's, but, that's but awesome. Except now, I can, except now I get to take a nap because I'm at home and nobody knows. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to know after this comes out. Because you know, everybody's going to listen to it. I, I thought about, like, when I used to work from home, it was like you had to explain to people, like, how you work from home for them to believe you. And, like, oh, yeah, my kids are in the back because I'm working from home. Or, you know, and they're at home, too. Or, or I'm doing this because I'm working from home. But now it's like everyone's in the same boat. So I don't have to explain myself when, like, random shit <laughs> pops up in the background of my audio or I had to step away for a minute because the dog threw up. Like, that's just life at home. <laughs> oh, man. And everybody's in the same boat. So it's like, okay, yeah, I get yep. it. Everybody's wearing ma- pants, maybe. Hopefully everybody's wearing underwear. But if not, you're never going to know. Most people are going to work in their pajamas. They're not changing their clothes or getting a yeah. shower when they wake up. They wake up. They roll over just in time to join that first meeting that you have in the morning, and then they just fuck around the rest of the day. I want everyone to know that aside from slippers on my feet, I am fully dressed right now. I'm wearing jeans and a sweater. And you really a want belt. to talk about what you're wearing right now? Why don't you just I let's just, just take a, like five minutes for Alan's wardrobe hour? <laughs> Go ahead, just give us the full rundown, top to I'm bottom, sorry. of exactly I gave what you the you're full wearing. Rundown. I just wanted to like. I got nothing. I'm sorry. That was uh, that was too much about me. Let's talk about you guys. Well, hey, last time I checked, this was called the Broke Otaku Podcast, not the Broke Ass Clothes Decisions Podcast. <laughs> so <laughs> when I was asking, what have you guys been doing? I was thinking I was going to get an answer about like things you've been reading or playing or watching or I don't know, something Weeboo related. Maybe well, I got I got something that most of the world have used as an escape from this horrible, horrible disease virus thingy. And that is the world of animals and the places in which they cross, a.k.a. (laughs) Animal Crossing. Would it be a different sort of horizon? 
Uh, yes, in fact, it is a not old horizon. There's a new horizon for Animal mm. Crossing. Mm. And in a fact, horizon. it is on the Nintendo Switch, which you can play in a handheld <laughs> form or on the TV, unless you have the Switch Lite, in which case it's only handheld form. Tell me more about this new Nintendo product. Before you do, I thought you were going to say you could download the Switch. <laughs> <laughs> you can download the Switch to your mailbox. It's on the Switch, which you can download on your TV. <laughs> let me let me walk you through my experience with Animal Crossing. The first day, I boot it up, and like you get a bunch of stuff to do. It's like, okay, yeah, I, I can, uh, I can shake trees. I can chop them. I'm getting like new tools I don't have. I'm catching bugs. Do you have to do what they tell you, or um, is it like here's the things you can do? It's mostly here are things are you there... can do, and you need to make us some bells, which is money. So go do that however you want. Okay. And then the second day you can mm. travel, which means you can leave your island and go to other islands. So I did that once, and like the main things are fishing and catching bugs and <laughs> building Getting stuff that, by sounds, bugs. that sounds like a blast well okay so a, a few days later i don't know like each day for the first week like something different happens in the game and like it's all real time so you you play the game every day and then like okay today you need to go do this and today you need to go do this so by the end you've got like new villagers in your in your town your your town's kind of built up and then you get more options you, like you can re uh, change the layout of your of your island you can uh build like new bridges you can build all kinds of stuff uh and but the the, the core of the game is you run around you chop trees pick up fruit pick up bugs and shells go fishing but they just they they totally hate your time like <laughs> the game makes decisions that that are just like fuck you and your time. Like this is going to take 20 minutes to do, even though it could easily take 3 seconds. For example, earlier today, one of the the things you can do is go to the the store and you can sell a hot item, which is they give you like twice as many bells for it. So one of the hot items was like a wood chair or something. So you got to go chop the wood and there's three types of woods you can get from chopping a tree. You hit the tree three times, you get three different types of wood potentially, but you only can have this one type of wood. So you got to hit every tree. So you hit the tree, bam, 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 three pieces fall out. You got to go to each one, pick it up, go to the next one, pick it up, go to the next one, pick it up, then go to the next tree. Whack, whack, the Is the, the pickup animation like excruciating like he has to bend over and then pick it or is it like instant it's it's long enough that it's tedious exact yeah that's what yeah that pisses me off so then you get the wood finally <clears throat> you go to a workbench which you have to go to a physical workbench you can't just go to your inventory and be like i want to craft this no you got to go to a workbench uh and then you say okay i i have i want to build this so you you find it you build it and then it builds it. And it takes like five seconds of that animation. And then you've built it. But I wanted to build like five of them because I had the wood to do that. I couldn't just say, okay, build five. No, you had to do one at a time. One yep, at a time. Sit through it. One at a time. But don't you get the little joy of and then watching that animation? <laughs> I went back to the store the store closes at 10 p.m., so I couldn't sell my stuff because the <laughs> store was closed. <laughs> so I spent all that time chopping the wood, crafting the stuff that I needed to build the stuff that I need, going back to the store, and the store's closed. So that's just, just like one real life. TV. Yeah, exactly. So <clears throat> that's one loop. The other loop is catch a bug. Okay, I catch a bug. <laughs> or you can you can dig... Uh, for fossils, there's these holes that pop up in the ground, and you can dig for it, and you get a fossil. You And then you have to go all the way to this museum where this owl guy is there, and then you talk to the owl, and he says, like, 20 things, 
and you can't just skip to the part that you want to get to. You have to hit the keep hitting the button as fast as you can to get through this fucking dialogue that's pointless. And then he, you say, okay, I want to. Oh, and if you hit it too fast, you get the wrong option, and he keeps talking and talking and talking. <laughs> then you get to the okay, I want to assess this, this, uh, this fossil. Like basically identify the fossil. So you hit identify the fossil or whatever, and then he goes through the spiel like, okay, this is such and such type. Do you want to learn more about it? I'm like, hell no, I don't, because you've already talked too much. And then finally, he's like, okay, here's your fossil back, or he'll keep it, or you can donate it, or whatever. And it, it just, everything takes forever. And then you walk out, and it's like, okay, now I'm going to go to the store and buy something. So you have to walk out, loading screen, walk across your island to whatever your store is, because you put it there, not knowing that it was going to impact you that you had to go back and forth so much. You go into your store. Then you got to talk to the storekeep and they say like five things. And then they're like, okay, you want to buy something? Okay, I want to buy this. Okay, here you go. Oh, you want to buy something else? Yeah, go through this dialogue menu again. Then pick what you want. You can't just be like, I want to buy this, 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 and this. And then give me everything I want. It's just like these the simple design choices that have been a staple of video games for like, 15 years to make things like more uh, streamlined and fun and less time wasting are just thrown out the window in this game and i've heard which is horrible that this game does those types of things better than any game before it so i don't know why people ever like this game because in the series yeah in the series so I, I I think the appeal is that you can build you build your island, you make it your own, you can craft your house, you can build your stuff. But here's the tease is like you can get all these things that you can craft. It's like, oh, I can craft a ping pong table. Okay, so you craft a ping pong table. It's like, oh sweet, now I can play ping pong. That might be fun. Nope. It's just a decoration. <laughs> <laughs> or like I can craft like a washer and dryer. Okay, what's that gonna do? Nothing. Literally just sits there, it's a decoration. The only things that you can interact with are like wardrobes so you can change your clothes and like mirrors so you can change your appearance. And sometimes there's something that plays music and that's literally it. Sounds awful. (laughs) You want to know what's funny? My wife loves that game. Loves it, loves it, loves it. Go ahead. I'm going to, I'll say my, (laughs) I have some, something to add, but you go right ahead. She, um, I'm not going to say much, but it's just funny because she loves it so much and it makes her so happy. And I feel so bad because I'll just be sitting here because, I mean, you know, self-isolation or whatever. We don't do much. Um, So a lot of our quality time is really just hanging out on the couch doing different things. I'm like reading while she's playing the game and she loves it. And she's like, oh, look at this thing that I got just got. And look at that thing I just got. And I like have to try so hard to not be a complete fucking dick. <laughs> Because I literally have to walk, like, just leave sometimes. Because I'm like, this is such a boring game. I don't understand (laughs) why people play games like this. It's like, you're playing house. Maybe for your kids, okay. But you have an actual house that we bought a lot of expensive things for (laughs) to put into it. (laughs) Like, like, This is better than that. we, We we bought a dope ass sectional. Like when we moved into this new apartment that we moved in, like we have a garage with more storage space and stuff. So when she's chop, chop, chopping trees and then she gets stung <laughs> by a wasp, I'm just like, what's happening? <laughs> like, what, what's funny is your, I know your wife, uh, she bought it and I visited her Island and I was like, yes. okay, this is cool. I can go visit her Island. Here's the process for visiting an Island. It took us like 20 minutes to get it working. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was sitting to. next to her when you were you guys were trying to figure it out. Yeah, it was so stupid. So you have to go to the airport. You have to talk to the dodo bird or whatever. <laughs> you have to open your gates. So you have to go to the airport. Like going to the airport is the worst thing that <laughs> anybody can do. <laughs> There's never no one's ever like, oh, I'm really excited to go to the airport unless you're like four and you've never been to the airport. I never before. even thought about that before. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wants to go to the airport. The airport is the worst place. It's in pretty the much world. just as bad. So you you go to the Even airport. More so now. Oh my god. So I've got like three or four friends who play this game, and I'm like, okay, I'll just go visit their islands, whatever. No, they have to open their gates to allow people to come into their island. Like you can't just <laughs> they have to open their borders to you. Yeah, exactly. Like you can't just 
be like hey i'm playing the game come join me no you have to like physically go there and talk to this dodo and again you're talking to somebody the dialogue's like like come on i've hit the button like 20 times just give me to the menu option it takes have you ever wanted to be a xenophobic fuck (laughs) (laughs) try animal crossing you get to pick and choose who you let into your personal little so so finally we we figure something out her island's open and I go to visit her island and I walk out and like your wife's got a beautiful island. It's got a much crap on it. Like her house that she made is really nice. Like compared to mine, it looks like crap. Like all my trees are dead. And like <laughs> my, my little house has like a bunch of trash thrown everywhere. Cause I don't care. And, uh, but like even stuff. So I get to her island and I'm like, okay, now what? Like there's literally, Unless I'm like chopping her trees and uh, digging in up her holes, or... <laughs> I ain't working for that bitch. <laughs> like, or, or just your work like you? straight up just stealing all the stuff off her island. Like, there's literally nothing to do. And I looked it up. I was like, "Am I missing something?" And I read a comment from someone who was like, "Oh, we just play our own games like hide and seek." I'm like, "What the? F- what? <laughs> I gotta make a game in the game because playing playing hide and seek in real life is too hard." <laughs> And like I, the game should give me fun. I shouldn't have to take the game and make it fun myself. There was a, there was a meme about this. It was like, uh, it was like everyone hates going to work and being in debt. It was like, so this is what this game is about, but it's really cute. Right. Exactly. Essentially, hey, that's actually you want to know what? Speaking of that, that's probably the thing that I hate the most about the game is that my wife's avatar is adorable as shit. <laughs> so I see it on the screen and it makes me want to keep looking at the screen, but then I'm going to be really bored. <laughs> so it's like this, much. it's yeah. like this siren calling me. I'm like, like it's her, her avatar is fucking cute, dude. She's like putting it in different poses when the uh, wardrobe flips through. She's like acting all cute and happy in one pose. And then she's like, has her finger up next to her mouth well not her finger but you know her like knob hand up next to her mouth like gasping like oh what's this outfit i just discovered and i'm like you adorable bitch don't let me look at the screen (laughs) because then you're just gonna start mowing the grass again and i'm gonna be bored so like i get the appeal like the appeal is that you can basically build your own little world but it's the sims man beyond that i don't understand where the fun is and i there's a it's there's a, a chore. huge there's a huge audience for uh like just an open space where you can that you can make your own whether or not there's a whole lot to do like i am the i'm at the other end of the spectrum from games like that like i want to know what the mechanics are and why you know what can i how can i be creative within the the mechanics that they provide right when i used to play games those are the games that i liked which is always yeah. why i like more playing devil may cry than say like a gta yeah. or and something. like rpgs and stuff like like synergies like you know finding like it, it rewards you for being clever or like thinking hard or knowing the game or, well uh this is the opposite of that what were we gonna say i was just gonna say or just becoming really skilled at the yeah. things that you know because yeah progression but like yeah progression is is a is a good game hook is a fun thing like you feel like you're getting stronger and yeah you know you have something to look forward to you have a goal this is seems like the opposite of that i mean maybe your goal is to like build your house and you want it to look a certain way and that's that's fine but that is just the, that's yeah, the, the last thing the, I want. the do. progression is that you you can build new stuff make your stuff nicer get new things i don't really know what beyond that i mean meet new animals i guess I, but beyond that like the the core game has to be fun the core loops have to be fun like yeah. devil may cry is like oh yeah you get into a a battle with a bunch of dudes and like you're flipping swords you're doing all kinds of crazy ass combos and like you try new things and you know it's just fun this is like oh i can chop this tree now i can go chop this tree it's going to work basically you know it's what it is tedious it's it's like GTA or Red Dead Redemption for wholesome people. That's essentially what it is. Because even though, um, <clears throat> like like I said before, I don't really play games anymore. But, but those games have like a story, though, and it sounds like this does. They have, they, they have that. I'll give you that. But the 
other element to those games that if I was a gamer, I wouldn't play them is because in Red Dead Redemption, you legit have to take care of your guns. I don't want to play a game where I have to take care of my guns. Like I was watching um, one of our friends do that at his place. And like, I'm like, I mean, this game looks dope and like voice acting is great. The characters look awesome. Like this little plot line that I'm watching you go through is like tense and exciting. And and then like 15 minutes later, he's like talking about all the things he has to like brush his horse down. I'm like, <laughs> like, can you take all of that out of the game so I can just do the yeah. shooting and stuff? Because that's all I really want to do. And maybe that makes me just a simpleton. But that's why I liked and was into games when I was into them and the games that I like watching my friends play typically like it's for those reasons. It's because there is a mission to be accomplished or they are really, really good at it. Like when I'm watching you, Alan and Will and Jerome play um, Marvel versus Capcom or street fighter. Like it's fun and exciting to watch you guys um, like honing your skills against each other. Like, I love my wife and I don't want to make her sad by hating on the game in front of her. <laughs> but like, I legit just had to like leave the room one time. Cause I'm like, this is mind numbingly boring. And maybe that's but, the whole point is like that you have this thing that's yours that you created. And like, it's, it's just, yeah, kind I of mean, this it's just mindless, a different kind of, yeah, you turn your brain kind of off escapism. and you, you do the stuff that you want to do <clears throat> to get whatever, whatever your goal is. Personally, I just think it's, boring and it's kind of a tease because it's like oh cool i can build this lamp now like what is this gonna do it's gonna <laughs> literally does nothing like it's a lamp you built yeah okay i got a literally got a podium what am i gonna do with a fucking podium <laughs> what do you do with a podium it's, and it's someone cute. you get behind it and you talk is there like voice chat at least can you guys like no there's like no you, voice. You can, you can text each other yeah, on the can phone. Text though. each other. Yeah. In the game. Yeah, they pull out their you little mobile like phones, move. and then you can see the chat that you're having with the person that's right next to you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and you can well, okay. So I actually found out you can use the app, the phone app, the Nintendo Switch Online app to send text messages to your friends in the game, which is kind of cool, but not cool enough to do it. It's only cool in that it's less shitty than having to do it through the game. But the uh, yeah, I the so my my son plays it too, and he's been doing stuff and like he he was done with it after like three or four days. Like he hasn't even touched it again. Well, do your like, daughters you play it? that that all that everything that all of your goals there consist of you just doing more of this boring thing. Like, and I, I, I go through this a lot with games where like, oh, like, yeah, I want this thing or I want, like, it'd be nice to, like, that's a cool far off goal. Uh, but you think about what you have to do to get there and you're like, oh, that's not going to be fun. That's boring. Or like, there's no, like the, the best games reward you as you're pursuing your goal. Like, right and I like with RPGs and stuff like you're getting stronger you're 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 learning new moves there's more to engage with but if you're just doing the same thing for if you're just grinding it sounds like it's just a big grind It is Yeah but, I, yeah but the goal the goal is kind of like I guess the game of life like you're just accruing things you're ru- yeah, you're like running a household your own- you're running a town and it and it's all really cute at the same time so that probably fills people with a good feeling cuteness means nothing to me and like- if if the game <laughs> makes you feel good and makes you happy like keep on playing it my like- son is like cute as crap i'm just like i don't care what do you want you're cute so what you get once you get a job i think there's I'm just kidding. Like the this. people who who enjoy the game, like I have no qualms about them enjoying the game. Like enjoy the game, yeah. love it. Like for me, like it was fun for like two days, and then I just realized, like you said, Alan, like the, the games that get tedious, I just got to put them down. And then like it, more recently, like I just noticed, like I'll pick up a mobile game or something on, on my phone. I'm like I'm bored. I'll pick something up, and I'll play it like three or four days. Like I think the last one I played. Know, tiny towers or something like that where you literally build a tower and each floor is different and they got different people on it and you get to a point where it's like okay this is a chore now i need to get rid of this and then i delete the game and i'm free and i'm yeah. done like that's i get more that's more the progression I get 
that I follow. I get more addicted to those kind of games than I do because it's more like a distraction and a simple thing, but it's like a microcosm of that whole, like, here's a system, you engage with it, and then you realize, like, it's unfulfilling. And, like, that's pretty much <laughs> games in a nutshell is, like, this false sense of accomplishment. And, you know, some games reward that better than others. Um, yeah, and there are those I, who have more... I think the older we get, the less free time we have to do that kind of stuff, so we don't... I think we're more in tune with how much a game is wasting our time when yeah, for sure. so little of our time is available to play them. So games like Monster Hunter, which I love Monster Hunter. It's a great game. I can't get to the level that people I play with are at because you right. know they spend hours and hours and hours and hours and hours a week. And I have like maybe two hours during the week and maybe four hours during the weekend that I can play it. And like, that's, you know, I do in my week's worth of, of gaming is someone else's day's worth of gaming. So it, there's no balance for me. And like, I still enjoy it to a degree, but like, I've just stopped trying to compete or try to keep up with them because it's like, Oh, Hey, you want to play this game? I'm like, I can't hang with you because you're level umpteen million XX two and I'm level 12. (laughs) Don't forget (laughs) the double X two. Right. And, uh, not to what's say that your, I uh, prestige my, level my hunter rank G twelve. Once your regular, once you get to hit the regular level cap, then you get to what the fuck's it called in Diablo? Your oh the uh, sacred pa- sacred level Parad- Parad- uh, paragon yeah paragon paragon there it is Diablo is another one yep. where it's like yep I got friends who play this and they're like paragon level seventy and I'm like regular level fifty. Or even not even that, and I just can't hang with you guys. Like, <laughs> I have to play these games solo so that I feel better about myself. Because if I'm trying to keep up with you guys, and I'm just like tagging along, that's not fun for me. So, that's where games like that fall into my life. Play them solo. Now, there's other games that are like, oh, we're all on the same level for the most part. You've played this more than me, but I can still hang. Uh, and I'm okay with those games. Those games are so fun for me, and I like to play those with people. But if I have to, I'm trying to catch up w- to you in Division Two. I think you okay. said you were 12. I don't remember, but that's a game that's nine. like. Well, even that game is, you know, there's yeah, people I know who, you. who play it and they're like, oh, I'm level 100. Like, oh, I'm level 12. I'll see you in six to 12 months when I'm not even playing this game anymore. I'll never get there. So, and then they, they join your game and they just run through all these dudes that are supposed to be challenging. It's like, okay, this, you kind of took the fun away by being such a high level. So either start a new character or don't play with me. Not that I don't want to play with you, but you're ruining this game for me. So goodbye. But that's, you know, that's kind of the nature of these games as services where it's basically like, oh, you're constantly progressing in some way or another. Uh, but there's all these things you can buy in addition to that make the game more fun for longer, but only if you've played it for 60 to 80 hours already. You're a casual guy who can only play, you know, four to six hours a week. This game's not really, unless this is the only game you play for three or four months, you're not going to get everything there is to be found in this game. I listened to a talk, a GDC talk about like, game like single contained experience games like here's a two-hour game you play it then you're done like they're just not really it's not really a viable model anymore because of like streamer influence and youtube you know all that stuff like when people like twitch and all that twitch is streamers i'm i'm old uh people want to see like different things happening they want to see like a dynamic uh like content generation happening something that you can keep coming back to and it's not the same thing but then it also is the same thing over and over again so it's weird it's a weird mind game that we play people just need to be tricked into doing the thing that they like by giving it a different sort of skin or scenario yeah, I mean, I'm fine with being tricked if it's enjoyable. Like, I'm playing Path of Exile again, and, like, I played that for, like, five years straight or something, and then 
came off it for like two or three years and now I'm back into it and enjoying it again because I'm doing something different. Even though I know it's like, yeah, I'm just killing stuff, but it's fun. Chopping wood is not fun. <laughs> Chopping if, if you're enjoying wood. the game, enjoy the game. That's all I can say. But but know this, know this. No matter who you are, no matter what level of joy you get out of chopping wood, chopping wood is not fun. <laughs> Period. Fact. I I would be shocked if any Animal Crossing player said that they enjoyed chopping wood, unless there was some kind of Zen thing that I'm not finding in Animal Crossing. I feel like there is a wood. level of that. No, because okay, let me tell you let, my experience. I haven't played Animal Crossing, but. I probably talked to you guys about this already, but fuck it. Uh, I've a friend of mine at work got me into Don't Starve Together, and it's basically the same thing. You got to chop wood, you got to gather twigs and grass to make torches. Um, but but this game, there's a it's got a day and night cycle like it like Animal Crossing, uh, I think. And uh, but they kind of get you where it's where it's more about survival, where like you pick these things up. And you get excited when you find like more grass or more twigs because you're going to need them and picking them up makes you feel more prepared. And it's like this little tiny like endorphin uh, release or this little pang of like satisfaction. And it's like a microscopic scale. Uh, And I think it's just like this constant drip of little tiny bits of, uh, of, enjoyment and it kind of sucked me in and like I, I quickly you know i had the same kind of burnout period that you seems like you had where i was just like oh this is dumb like yeah there's all this stuff you can do but i'm never going to get there i keep dying four days in uh you know right but but at least that it was more of like a it was more v- like visceral survival based or like i'm gonna die if i don't you know have a torch for tonight and this sounds like this is just like oh you're doing dumb shit but it's cute <laughs> <laughs> well and I, I don't i guess there's more to like the world that i i, I don't know I'll, I'll give it a few more weeks but i i think I'm i mean you much don't have generous to. it doesn't to. sound like you want to you don't you have just to be, just be scrooge mcduck man just say just say bah humbug and be no be i i want to because i want to understand the appeal but uh, maybe I, I just some don't. some things Stop you're not to gonna understand. understand. Some Stop. men just want to watch the world burn. <laughs> I want to burn. And it. Others just want it to be. Cute. Others want to grow tulips, and that's just what it is. Chop wood. Well, and see, like chop I, that wood. If you're into like island island design and home design, like I suck at that stuff, and I don't want to do it. So yeah, I guess this game's just not for me. Yeah, really, really what we're what you're experiencing is a very small. Well, when you must say very small, because this game was hugely anticipated. But I guess what you're running into is the fact that this is a type of game that serves a demographic that has been blossoming um, only in like what you guys would know better than me, like the past 10 years, maybe 15 Um and that wasn't that wasn't an original demographic of people that were gamers, of people that would look forward to new titles coming out, whether it's like on a new system or if it's just like a continuation in a series. Like most most of the games don't cater to that crowd. Most of the games that you hear about cater to the more stereotypical idea of what gamers are people that are into like the old platformers or first person shooters or RPGs or name all of the other genres. This is like casual gaming. It's like a whole different thing. And so it it's weird because maybe it's just the biggest title to date for casual gaming. And maybe that's why it seems weird because it is such a lauded thing that people are so hyped about that everybody's talking about. Um, I mean, my wife put it on the calendar when it was coming out. I thought, <laughs> I thought it was the, she put New Horizons. I was like, "Ooh, the New Horizons Zero Dawn's coming out." <laughs> she's like, <laughs> she's like, no. Like, are you gonna start doing? You gonna start meditation? Are you gonna take a course? 
Oh, <laughs> I didn't get that at first. Yeah, that was a real. That was a real bad joke. Is what that was. <laughs> that, was that was a stretch that nobody got. <laughs> it's, <laughs> a new, it's a new day on the twenty first. It's a new day. Like, oh shit, what's gonna happen? What's gonna happen, baby? Yeah. You got planned? Oh yeah, I got plans. I got I canceled plans. all our other plans for this plan. She was like, I got plans. This COVID nineteen came at the right time. <laughs> <laughs> it was perfect. Now is the perfect time for Animal Crossing. Oh yeah, and I wonder and if part is. of it is like the the nostalgia too. Like Animal Crossing when it came to GameCube, like it was kind of revolutionary in that it had that real time clock and real things happening in real time. Like you kind of put up with bad design back then because you didn't know better. And I, you know, every iteration that comes out after that is like, ooh, ooh, new Animal Crossing. What are they gonna do? And then by the time you get to here, it's like, okay, this game kind of sucks. In My wife way, straight up cheats the clock. She'll just turn it forward <laughs> in the system so she can do more stuff. You know what? I I thought about that. That is way too much work. <laughs> Seriously, yeah, like that, I should not have level. to do that to make the game fun. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't really like it. She just does it because she wants it to play the way she wants it. To Everybody play. does. But it. I get your point. Everybody does that. I don't get it. And I'm like, no, if I have to cheat the system to make the game fun, or if I have to make up games like <laughs> hide and go seek on an island, no. This game's not fun. This game's shit. Yeah, there's there's some weird like OCD nerd part of me when she's changing the clock, it like really bugs me. It's like Oh yeah. Fucking... She like the system clock, you gotta like go in your yeah. switch settings and oh that's yeah. 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 I'm I'm like fucking it's not April yet. There was a <laughs> something like that in a Metal Gear Solid game where if you went in there was this old there was this boss, he was an old dude. And he was a sniper and he just kept like pegging you and uh if you went into the system settings and set the clock forward like a few days or like a couple years or something, it was like he basically had two months to live and if you went past that threshold, he died and you didn't have to actually fight him. That's hilarious. <laughs> no, see that's, that's funny. That's an Easter shit, egg. Yeah. No, yeah, that's yeah, it's but it just reminded me of that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, I want to ask you guys a quick question before we wrap this up. Who? We're just getting started, man. Who's? Fucking, I'm not doing shit tomorrow. (laughs) Lockdown, baby. I mean, I guess we could could just keep going. I mean, I'm doing something. AJ's doing something. As long as we've got scotch. We got real (laughs) jobs, so. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Anyways, for my question. Who is hotter? Tifa. Or Eris. Come on. Come on. Is that Come a question? On. It's a question. You have to answer it. Um, it's hotter. I would say first, AJ. from a very let's say I'll say porn star perspective, Tifa. <laughs> what are we what are we twelve? <laughs> uh but I think from a kind of girl next door type, definitely mm-hmm. Eris. Okay. Aerith, it's uh yeah, I'm whatever, not saying that. Aerith. Hey. Hey, I'm not yeah, saying Yeah, I don't want to say it either. I'm not doing to, it. I don't want to either. Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously Tifa. Tifa, okay. What about, what about Yuffie, though? Yuffie? Is it Yuffie now since <laughs> Luffy is Luffy? Is it Yuffie, Yuffie? <laughs> Who knows? Anyway, I just want to let you know that both I'm of- I'm a Red 13 guy myself. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to let you know that both of you are wrong. The correct answer is Cloud. The cloud is fucking hot. Have you guys cloud. have you guys played the FF seven a... remake demo yet? Yes, yeah. I have. I actually just finished it last night. I've been meaning to do that for like two weeks. Why is he so hot? <laughs> He's beautiful. And you know what? Uh in the who's the Jesse, the girl in, in the demo? Like she's gorgeous too. Everybody in that game is gorgeous, except for Barrett's ugly ass. Yeah. Uh, Racism. Nah, it's not it's Japan, man. I didn't do it. They did it. Some people are into that Barrett style. No, Barrett no Barrett's sexy too. Everybody uh Yeah, they're fucking hot, dude. It's distracting. Yeah, their skin like glows. Yeah. Their skin fucking glows. And yeah. so do their eyes and they just look they look like a like a sexy ghost. Somebody did like a model breakdown, like a three D model breakdown of Cloud, and apparently his head or his face is the exact same model as the dude from Final Fantasy 15. Oh, um, really? Noctis? Yeah. Gross. yeah, Noctis. But yeah, I could imagine that. Who cares? It's <laughs> like it's like the uh the uh the Korean or uh what is that country where they the everyone in the beauty contest looks alike <laughs> cuz it's just like they have an established right standard of beauty and it's either this or 
I mean, uh, it might be Korea. I don't know. Look at all their boy bands. It's just like they all look like dolls. Yeah, I mean, it, yeah. And this is, you know, Square's been doing this. Square Enix has been doing this for years. Right, exactly. So they're just, this is the this is the fruits of their labor. And if um, the dude looks like the dude, then make him be the dude. Who cares? Yeah. The dude's hot. The dude's hot. I actually um, have only seen some of the characters because of screenshots because I actually refuse to play the demo because I want to play it for the first time when it actually comes out. This is like the only game that I'm going to actually be playing because it's like FF7 Remake. I have to play that. Um, So I'm probably going to just play the first mission just to get a feel for it. Um, It's hard. Like I played it. Well, I played it. I started it and then I didn't play it for like a month or two. And then I tried to come back to it last night, and it was super hard. So after I finally beat the stupid boss, I went back and started again. I was like, "Oh, that's how you're supposed to play it." Mm. And I figured it out. And I was like, "You know, it's but it's it's solid. It's the it's fun. I I think it'll be good. I hope they make the story a little more coherent. Yeah, that would be nice. nice. That would be the nice. The story was pretty incoherent. Yeah, I was. One. Yeah, I was talking to Faith about that. I was like, you know what? I might actually have to play the whole game, all 18 installments that they're going to fleece us with. Oh, yeah. Um, but <laughs> because, play like... this till the day you die. You're going to be 80 on your deathbed. Like, oh, I got yeah. this, Final this Fantasy Final, this Final 7. Material. Final Fantasy 7 Remake 86-3. Yeah. Remake three. 7. They're going to hit us with, like, some kind of weird 777 <laughs> yeah. in the year 2077 and be like, here's the last game. Fuck you. We ride off into the sunset with your money. <laughs> Final and Fantasy the Remake, explodes. Remake, Remake 7, Remake We're all living seven, underwater seven. at that point. <laughs> yeah. The world is going to end before they finish this scene. <laughs> yeah. I'm calling it right now. <laughs> like, Realistically, though, the, this, the next episode is going to be on PlayStation 5. So, yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah, probably that true. That too. Did they have a release date for that yet? End of the year, I think. Really? Unless it gets pushed back because of the COVID. Yeah, it probably. I don't know. It could get pushed back just because of reduction in manpower and general global mm-hmm. infrastructure and all that jazz. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. At the very least, they probably won't delayed. push as many units as they were planning on. Time has been delayed. Yeah. The world is delayed. All has this is bizarro stopped. world. It really Superman. is. Superman. Set weird. it back. It is weird. It is odd. Check us out on Twitter at Brokotaku at Brokotaku Cast. Podcast.blahblahbrokotaku.com. Bunch uh, of crap. Thanks for listening. Just Google Brokotaku. Yeah, thanks for listening. Thanks for listening. Stay healthy. Stay smart. Stay fresh. Wash your fucking hands. Bye. I love you. Stop Bye. licking shit, you dumbasses. Yeah, you dumb fucks. And stop recording it if you are going to be a dumb fuck. Bye.